Hi everybody, it's Miss Gina. We're here for pajama story time tonight. So we're going to be reading three books like we always do. And the theme this tonight is books that Miss Gina has around her house because we've been snowed in and I haven't been able to get to the library. But I promise you guys, you're going to enjoy these books. So first up, we're going to read Just a Snowman by Mercer Mayer. You guys might know about Mr. Mercer Mayer and the little critters that he writes about all the time. Then we're going to read They All Saw a Cat by Brendan Wenzel. And finally, we will read The Moon Man, which is a book I really liked growing up by Gerda Marie Scheidel and Josef Uvilkom. Alrighty, so let's start our first story. Just a Snowman by Mercer Mayer. It snowed and snowed all night, so today we had a snow day. Hooray! Just like us. I wanted to build a snowman. I put on my snow boots and my hat and my mittens and my scarf. Then I helped little sister put on her snow stuff. After that, dad needed my help. We shoveled and shoveled lots of snow, and then we had to find the car. Oh no, what do you guys think happened? He covered up the car when he was helping his dad. Oh, look, his sister is getting ready to throw a snowball. You've got the family cat, and you've got this bird who does not like being there. Got a very busy front yard, this family does. I was going to build a snowman next, but little sister wanted to have a snowball fight. I let her hit me a bunch of times. Do you think he's letting her hit him? Or is she just doing it? I only hit her one time by accident. Oh, no. So then I had to say I was sorry and give her a big hug. Their mom was not happy about that. I was going to build a snowman after that. But Tiger and Bun Bun wanted to go ice skating. Have you guys been to the ice rink in Memorial Park? I've heard it's really cool. And when it's safe, I'm really excited to go. So I showed everyone how I can skate backwards and go do jumps. I think he might be falling. Then Tiger and I raced. It was a tie. I was, real, I was ready to build a snowman next, but Maurice and Molly wanted to go sledding. I steered all the way down the big hill. Watch out, Maurice and Molly. Here we come. When little sister and I got home, I was going to build a snowman. But Gator wanted me to help him build a snow fort. And then Gabby wanted to make snow angels. Did you guys do any of these things today? There's so much snow out there, but you could do all of them. Finally, it was time to build a snowman. First, we made a big snowball for the bottom. Next, we put a smaller one up top and an even smaller one on top of that one. Little sister added prunes for his eyes and mouth and a carrot for his nose. And I put mom's scarf around his neck and dad's hat on his head. I even let him wear my sunglasses. Our snowman sure looked great. Little sister was getting cold, so we went inside. The snowman looked cold too, so I decided to make some of my special hot chocolate to warm us up. First, mom heated some milk while I got out the secret ingredients. Ooh, I wonder what his secret ingredients are gonna be. I put everything into the pot and stirred it all up with a big spoon. Then I put marshmallows on top and I poured the hot chocolate onto into three big mugs. One for me, one for little sister. Who do you think is gonna get the third mug? And one for the snowman. It was the best snow day ever. I sure hope it snows again tomorrow. The end. Wow, did you guys do any of those fun snow things? I haven't gotten to do any of them yet, but I do really want to. 
I think at the very least, I'm gonna have a mug of hot cocoa tonight. Alrighty, so our next book is They All Saw a Cat by Mr. Brendan Wenzel. You might recognize this book. We have it at the library. So the cat walked through the world with its whiskers, ears, and paws. And the child saw a cat. And the dog saw a cat. Everybody sees the cat different. Hmm. And the fox saw a cat. Yes. Yes, they all saw a cat. The cat walked through the world with its whiskers, ears, and paws. Whiskers. Whiskers. Ears and paws. Four of them. And the fish saw a cat. And the mouse saw a cat. And the bee saw a cat. Yes, they all saw a cat. The cat walked through the world with its whiskers, ears, and paws. And the bird saw a cat. And the flea saw a cat. Here's the flea. Up there. And the snake saw a cat. Ooh, look at that. And the skunk saw a cat. And the worm saw a cat. And the bat saw a cat. Yes, they all saw a cat. Yes, they all saw a cat. A child and a fox, a child and a dog and a fox and a fish and a mouse and a bee and a bird and a bird and a flea and a snake, snake and a skunk and a worm and a bat. Yeah. The cat knew them all and they all saw the cat. And the cat walked through the world with its whiskers, ears, and paws. Then it came to the water. And imagine what it saw. What do you think the cat seeing? The cat saw a cat. The end. Hope you guys enjoyed that book. I personally, I love cats. They're my favorite animal. So, and so they are for my whole family. So that's why we have this book and it's important to us. I wonder which which kind of cat did you guys like the most? Did you like that big red cat? I think my dad would like that one. Did you like the teeny tiny cat the bird could see? How do you guys see a cat? How would you draw a cat if you saw one? You can draw one and you could let me know. I'd love to see it. All right. So our last book tonight is The Moon Man. It's a little bit longer than the others, but I really like I It was one of my favorites growing up. It's actually written by two people who are from the author Gerda Marie Scheidel is from Germany. And she used to be a dancer. And Josef, Josef Wilkon was a, is a Polish man who helped, who illustrated the book. So he drew the pictures. We got the moon and another moon. The Moon Man. This was translated by J. Allison James. Once there was a young girl named Marion who painted a picture of a moon man. She drew on two eyes and two no and a nose and a cheerful smile. She drew two legs and two arms. Last, she drew a funny hat. Marion hung the picture book above her bed. Now she would have moonlight even when the real moon went behind a cloud. 
she would have a full moon even when the real moon was just a sliver. Marion happily went to sleep. Deep in the night, the real moon rose. It was a full moon, round and luminous. It shone through Marion's window and fell on the moon man. Achoo! He sneezed and woke up. The moon man took a breath and filled him up like a balloon. He peeled off the page. He rolled across the floor. He bumped down the stairs. He ro uh, then he was outside in the garden. There he is. High up in the sky, the full moon shone. The moon man looked up in awe. Look at how that moon man glows, he said. If only I could shine like that. Dream on, meowed a cat. This is what the moon what it looks like when the moon man saw a cat. You are nothing but a copy. Only the real moon can shine. The cat yowled and tiptoed tip off over the rooftops. Sadly, the moon man walked away. He climbed up a hill that was covered in moonlight. The real moon lit up the moon man. Excited, he jumped up and down. I can rub myself all over in the light and I will shine just like the moon in the sky, he thought. But then the moon went behind a cloud. Hmm. Three robbers appeared out of the garden. There they are. Looky here, they said. The man in the moon has fallen out of the sky. They snatched him up. Now we can have light whenever we need it. They locked the moon man into a glass lantern. Shine, they ordered. The moon man just smiled at them, even though he was scared. It's the only thing he knew how to do. Suddenly, the real moon came out from behind the cloud and shone in through the window. Oh, now, wait one minute, said a robber. You are an imposter. They threw the lantern on the ground and the glass shattered. The moon man slipped out between the shouts of excitement. The moon man came to a long silver bridge across the river. He did not know what the bridge was made of. He did not know that the bridge was made of moonshine. Look out, moon man. The real moon went behind another cloud and the moon disappeared. <gasps> Splash! The moon man fell into the water. No! Fortunately, a fisherman was just pulling in his nets. He thought <coughs> he had caught a silver fish. When he saw the moon man, he was so excited he went straight home. Wife, he called. I've caught the moon. It's not shining, she said. How could it be the moon? The man explained, it's just wet from falling in the river. So they hung the moon man out to dry and tucked him into bed. I'm up there with the laundry and the washing. The moon man pretended to sleep, but he was thinking hard. All the way up there in the corner, he's thinking hard. As soon as the real moon comes out again, they will think I've gone back into the sky. He didn't want to disappoint them, so he slipped away. There's their house, and he's running away. In a little boat, go somewhere new. The moon man ran and ran. He ran through a town. He ran until he came to a wall, and then he stopped. He heard strange noises, snarling and growling and roaring. He quivered with fear. He turned to run, but it was too late. No! Someone had him by the scruff of his neck. Before he knew it, he was locked in a zoo. The moon man was amazed by all the animals. Moon, moon, they cried. Shine your bright light so we can escape. Sadly, the moon man explained that he didn't know how to glow. But then he brightened. I've got long, thin fingers, he said. Maybe I can unlock your cages. That's a cool idea. Let's get him creative. Hooting and trumpeting with glee, the animals paraded off into the hills. Aha, so it worked. The moon man rode on the broad back of an elephant. Please. Is there an elephant? As they went out, they discussed how to make the moon man shine. The moon is bright because it is so high in the si sky, said the hippopotamus. Perhaps if the moon man stands on a mountain peak, he, will he too will shine. So the giraffe lifted the moon man up to the top of a tall mountain. Oh, that's a mountain, not an elephant. Silly me. The moon man smiled and thanked his new friends. Do you think he's going to shine up there? Hmm, let's see. I don't know. The moon man was happy. At last, he was going to glow. He sang a cheerful little song. 
Moonlight, moon bright, teach me how to glow tonight. Ahem, said the real moon, who was sitting on the next mountain. The real moon did not look pleased. There can be only one moon, he said sternly. All you have is a full moon face, but I change each night. I go down to just a whisper and disappear, and then I come back to fill up the sky. No, there can be only one moon. The moon man felt as flat as a piece of paper. I only wanted to shine a little, he said meekly. You mean you don't want to ride across the sky? The moon man shook his head. Well, in that case, said the real moon with a smile, maybe I can help you. The moon called to the star shiner. Do you have some dust in your cloth from polishing stars? Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't do the voice. Do you have some dust in your cloth from polishing stars? That's the moon shiner. My friend, the moon man wants to shine. So the star shiner wrapped the moon man up in his dusty cloth, got on the back of a shooting star, and skimmed the sky until he found Marion's window. Marion's the girl who drew the moon man at the beginning of the story. Carefully, he wrapped, unwrapped the moon man and put him back on the empty piece of paper. The moon man was covered with thousands of specks of shining stardust, and he filled the room with a silvery glow. The real moon looked in and beamed with pleasure at the moon man on the wall. This was the place for the moon man to be, right above Marion, the one who made him. The end. We got a last little picture there. Well, thanks so much for joining me tonight, guys. It's been wonderful reading some of my favorite stories with you from home. I hope I'll see you. I'll be seeing you from the library soon. I hope you guys have a good, safe, and warm snow day. Um, have a good night. Bye.